Welcome back. Throughout this session, we will discuss about SharePoint farm topology. We have here three category. The first one, small farm. Small farm consists of two or three server, just being used for training purpose or for a very minimum, you know, small business. If it's two server, so one of them, it will be for DC, domain controller, and the other one will be used for a database and SharePoint. Or, you know, most of the cases, it will be at least three server. In that case, one server will be dedicated for database. One of them will be dedicated for a SharePoint. And the last one will be dedicated for a DC domain controller. Let's move on to other architecture, which is called medium farm. Medium farm is used for a small business or for medium business. In that case, you will start to have high availability between database in case one of them is fail the other one will be up okay so at least you will have a two database server and you will have as well two front end server and two application server and definitely one of them it will be for dc no need to talk about dc anymore let's focus here about only sharepoint and database and the other option maybe you will have a large farm if you are a SharePoint architect and you need to design a large farm according to the business requirement, in that case, you will have, you know, three or four database server according to, you know, database uh, and, you know, business requirement. And in meantime, you will have, you know, more SharePoint server web front end, maybe four, maybe five. And the last point here between the difference between large farm and medium farm, it's about application server. You will have maybe one dedicated application server, one distributed cache, one will be dedicated for a search service only, one will be dedicated for a managed metadata. Okay, so in that case, we will have more servers and definitely we will have, you know, uh, if we have um, two or four uh, web front end server, in that case, we need to have um, a load balancer server in that case. So the bigger form, the bigger server, we will have a dedicated server for each, you know, service according definitely to business user requirement. They are required functional or non-functional requirement. Let's move on to another strategy. You know, people, you know, in big organization should have that module, should have a dedicated farm, SharePoint farm, dedicated for development, develop, called the development farm. Development farm, which develop, SharePoint developer will have a Visual Studio installed and he will connect it to a SharePoint farm. Each developer will have his own Visual Studio. He will, you know, write his WSPs and just like deploy to the farm. Uh, and after that, he test his code. He make, he make sure the functionality is working fine and he pass that release note or we called it you know wsp to the quality assurance team or the testing team or the software tester team which is they will test the functionality over uet environment he will make sure everything is working fine he will stamp that one is working fine he will correct it if it everything is working fine and pass that stage it will be moved directly to a production team production team will move that changes to uh, production environment, you know, after taking the proper approval from the business requirement and from BMO, project manager officer, and make sure everything is working fine, he will, you know, shoot it over production in a downtime. He will set, yeah, that one, it will move at the weekend at a specific downtime. I will move that it changes to the production. I will do a smoke test. I will do post deployment test make sure every, everything is working fine, the functionality is working fine, all the functionality is working fine, and the end user will start you know, to use it. So that's basically one of the most common module. It's going on in a big organizations. We will have you know, at least three environment or three, three farm, you know, one for development, one for staging, and the last one for production. Okay, these, you know, I have to talk about it. Okay, so, Let's have, you know, a little bit discussion. Uh, what are the advantage of having a separate form for content publishing? You know, you can have a discuss 
with your you know uh, uh, stakeholders you know with your colleagues and your sharepoint team and you know you can put down below any comments or you can put any question for me i'm super happy to answer any question thank you for watching and see you